G'day folks, this afternoon I'm heading off to do a little bit of exploratory trout fishing. I'm going trout fishing in a stream that I've never fished before. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right now when I say I've never fished this stream before, I have but it was a lot further downstream and it was a long long time ago. I've never fished in this section of this stream before. I know there's fish here but I also know it gets fished a lot, it's a very popular little waterway. And being that it's the week after Easter, I'm expecting any fish that I see to be quite wary. I may or may not see any, I may or may not catch any. That's the beauty of going exploring. Let's go off on an adventure. Right, I'm just walking down to the creek. As I said, Easter was just last week and there would have been people everywhere. So I'm expecting any fish in here to be quite flighty. I'm starting off with this lure. It's a strike tiger nymph in trout road color with the claws removed. And I've got a little uh, red eye, strike tiger red eye jig head, the black jig head. That's a starting point. Got it, oh, that was a fish. As soon as the water a fish hit it, that's a great sign. Is he going to follow it out? No, that's a sign. There are fish here. Oh, a trout fly that. I saw him. He never touched it. I just saw him. I never even saw him following it. It wasn't until I put the lure out of the water, I saw him darting away. Right. So. I've just got in here, I had a fish hit in that hole, and I had a follow in that hole. I get the impression that as expected, they're very, very spooked and very flighty. But one thing I do know for sure is that they are here. You ripper, that's a start. That's the biggest hurdle crossed. That's the whole creek. And then I'm just stepping over the creek now. Ah. I wonder if there's a fish in that crack. What got him? Oh, I lost him. He hit it. He wanted it. He hit it. I've seen three fish. He wasn't a bad trout either. They're very flighty. He was so scared to take that name. He didn't hit it with confidence. That's one thing I can tell you. He did not hit it with confidence. And I'll be very, very surprised if he even as much as follows that lure back out then. Well, folks, so far, and I've only been here 10 or 15 minutes, what I've learned is that the fish are very, very flighty, and that's what I expected, because last weekend was Easter. It's only three or four days after Easter. A lot of people say, oh, this spot's going to get a flogging over Easter, and this is going to get a hiding over Easter. But what usually happens, the people that get there first, either the Wednesday or Thursday before Easter, or, or the Good Friday, first in best dressed, because after the first people have walked through, for the rest of Easter, the fish are new, normally really, really flighty, and not as easy to catch. Who's a follow? He's a swirl. I can see him. He's not a bad fish. I'm reluctant, but not bad. I might even change the lure colour. He comes, here he comes. Look, look, look. He's on it. No, he's not real big. Probably only 20 or 22 centimetres, maybe. I might even change coloured nymphs. He's following it. No, not interested. Right, I've gone a little bit smaller or a little bit more natural. I've gone to the black and gold striped tiger nymph. I've stayed with the nymph, but I've just gone to a plain jig head. And I've gone a, a real dark colour, black and gold. Because there are a few crickets around still and a lot of little black bugs. And also, when I gutted that trout last week in the rain, it had, uh, it had a lot of millipedes in its stomach, which are small and black, just like this lure. Oh, there's a fish on it. There he is. He followed it. There's a big brownie. I'm not big, but he's a nice brownie of around 30 centimetres. Oh, oh, he got it. Oh, does he want that? Oh, 
was a fly, he got him. Oh, he hit it. Oh, he chased it out. He hit it and he chased it out. Oh, oh he hit it again. Bloody hell. They're hitting it, they're wanting it, but they are so scared. I've certainly found the lure that they want, I'm convinced of that. But they are so chicken. He's follow, look. That's a blackfish. That was a really big blackfish followed that out there then. I wonder if you'll come back and hit it. The first one was a trout, but that was definitely a blackfish. There he is, he's right there. Big blackfish. There's a big blackfish followed it out, that's really cool. That's not something you see all that often. I have actually caught a blackfish on a soft plastic once. Got him! What do I get? The blackfish! <laughs> look at the size of me blackfish! I can here and wet my hand a bit and look after him. He's a bloody lovely little fish. There you go folks, have a look at that for a blackfish. As far as uh, the northern side of the Great Dividing Range goes, that is an absolute ripper. Two spined blackfish. I'm going to get a quick photo of him. I'll put him back in there. If he gets off, he gets off. That's good and well. But he's definitely well worth a photo. That has really made my day. There you go, folks. Have a look at that for a beautiful freshwater blackfish. Look at that, folks. That is a magnificent freshwater blackfish. Look at the beautiful colours on him. Beautiful blackfish. See you later, mate. I had a big trout follow it out and he wouldn't take it. I've had quite a lot of trout follow it out and not take it, but the blackfish come out and took it. That has made my day. Blackfish on the southern side of the Great Dividing Range get much, much bigger. But that one there, this side of the Great Dividing Range, on the northern side of the Great Dividing Range, that's actually a quite a large blackfish. And I've got quite a large smile on my face. You ripper! This trout just rose up there at the top of the hole. Oh. I've stuffed the cast up big time. He was a, I saw the rise and got excited and just flicked. I'll try that again. He rose about two metres. There he goes, he just jumped clean out of the water. Right while I was looking there. So there's an active feeding fish just in there. Scott, you hit it. You hit it. Probably follow it all the way in now. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, he opened his mouth. He's on it again. Yeah, oh, the trout are so, so flighty and spooked. It's easy to see why a fish come out of that hole and hit my lure. But anyway, folks, I've changed lures. I've gone from the black and gold nymph to the coffee-coloured nymph. The reason being, I got snagged and it broke the tentacles off my black and gold nymph. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just put a new one on. And it was at that moment that I realised that I don't have any more black and gold nymphs in my bag. So I put a coffee colour one on instead. So it's nice and dark. Nice little pool just here in the shade. No follow it. Put that in the back of the pool. I might have spooked the pool. Got him! Oh, I lost! <coughs> lost him! That was the closest I've come to catching a trout today. He belted it. He absolutely belted it. I've gone from follows to taps to strikes. Surely it's uh, only a matter of time before I start getting hookups. Gee, you hit that hard. Ooh. A trap just swiped at that in there then. Look. Look at that. A beautiful Murray crayfish full of eggs. That's a Jenny. Oh, he's nearly got me finger too. That's a oh, she's nearly got me finger. Murray crayfish in these mountain streams are a very good sign of the health of the waterway. There's another one over there I can see. Excellent. Right up where the water's falling into the hole. Got a bit of trout sitting up there. was a swirl. Oh, he hit it. He swam with it, he didn't hit it very hard, he just put it in his mouth and swam. I actually saw the boil before I felt the fish, I didn't feel too much weight that we hit it again. Nah, no, felt a bit of weight that time. Well folks, as far as trout fishing is concerned, this was a bit unsuccessful. I didn't catch any. Oh, 
Hello, got him. Look at that. You wouldn't read about it. I'm going to have to film a different closing scene. There you go, folks. That is a lovely little brown trout. Caught on the coffee colour striped tiger nymph. Mate, that's funny. See you later, mate. Closing scene, take two. Well, folks, I've had an absolute blast. I found a new stream that I can fish. I walked upstream for quite a long time. I had a lot of trout follow my lure. A few of them hit, but none of them hooked up. I found a couple of freshwater crayfish. I caught that beautiful blackfish on a soft plastic, which was an absolute highlight. Then after filming my closing scene, I drove back down into civilization. I pulled over at a popular campsite, flicked my little striped tiger in and caught a trout. So folks, I found a new spot that I can fish and I've had a wonderful time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful time watching it. If you have one, I'd give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.